Tracking something into your scene is one of the main pillars of visual effects and it can be super confusing to learn. When I was getting started with visual effects, I learned the trackers by constant repetition, by doing tutorials that incorporated it, but they didn't teach how to use them. And honestly, most of my tutorials are like that as well because there's just not enough time to teach you how and when to use a tracker in every tutorial that incorporates one. So with that in mind, I spent the last month creating a class to simplify tracking so that you no longer have to be frustrated when you're following a tutorial that incorporates one or have to guess if you're doing it right. And I've linked that class down below and it's all about After Effects tracking. If you follow that link, you'll also get a free month of Skillshare. In my class, you'll learn when to use each individual tracker. You'll learn how to motion track for the position. You'll learn how to motion track for the position with the rotation and scale. You'll learn how to stabilize motion. You'll learn how to use the warp stabilizer and other tips I do to improve the overall results of the warp stabilizer. Stabilizer. You'll learn how to 3D camera track and you'll learn how to bring that 3D camera track data into Cinema 4D so that you can edit 3D objects into your scenes. So again, you can check out my new Skillshare class by clicking the link down below and you'll also get that free month of Skillshare. So not only will you be brought up to speed on every tracker in After Effects in under 30 minutes, but you'll also be supporting me so I can continue making these videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the class.